Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. Good YouTube, it's your boy Milton Nippers are coming back with another quick sneaker review. And today we got the Air Jordan 6 Gold Hoops. And with my opinion, I think that this shoe, I think it's really, really good in terms of the execution and what Jordan brand did for the ladies. And honestly, as a guy, can't be bad at it. You're basically taking a Jordan Retro, not doing too much with it, adding like one or two accessories, and boom, the presentation right here. Now, I have the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott. I got the Air Jordan 6 Infrared 6. And there's a reason why Air Jordan 6 Infrared 6. Did I just say that? Air Jordan 6 Infrareds. There's a reason why I have both pairs out because I want to do a little compare and contrast on how they executed these Air Jordan 6 gold hoops. So with that said and done, let's get straight into the shoe. Now, this shoe I got for my niece who just recently graduated from high school. And... I want to say this, the influence of this shoe when she first saw it, like her first impression, I mean, I showed her the Air Jordan 4 Oreos, great, you know, great impression. But when this shoe came on the timeline and specifically on the sneakers app, I saw her reaction. So to me, what that says is a shoe like this that may not impact a lot of guys, obviously, it, it kind of caters towards the females. So something simple as gold hoops or let's just call it earrings, because that's kind of where the inspiration came from. That type of accessory for a female may mean something more to a female than a, than a male. That that makes sense, right? The reason why I say that is because, if I'm not mistaken, the Air Jordan 14 Low is supposed to come out with that same theme. Um, a female-exclusive Jordan retro shoe that has female accessories. And in this case, the inspiration comes from these Air Jordan 14 Lows, via red lipstick so i'm curious to see if that release does as good as this release in terms of uh, the, the amount of sales and how it got sold out but that said and done thank you to my niece who gave me a chance to actually review this obviously i can't do the on feet but i want to take a shoe or to want to take a shoe i want to take a look at the shoe for myself and wow you know i find it ironic that they have the ring on this box Almost like what you would normally see like in a Jordan 11 pullout drawer, but you don't. Um, and then they put that traditional Air Jordan 23 wax paper design. But let's, okay, let's, let's open this up. Let me put this down here. We're going to talk about this shoe real quick because in my opinion, I may say some things about this shoe that's going to tickle some, some feathers online, but I got my reasoning for this. So it's down here. Let's talk about this real quick because this shoe, in my opinion, whew, man, this is nice. This is nice. And I'll say this. As a female, when you're looking at the shoe and you see those gold hoops, those earrings, you know what time it is. Now, I will say this. While the earrings can technically come out, it is very, very, very hard to take this out. You might need like some tweezers to press down on the tongue where you see that by the cushioning to try to sneak it in within the line. I know you don't want to kind of break this out too much because you'll break the, the ring itself. And I like that the fact that they have that lace lock, gold lace lock, pink Jordan logo. And if you look at the tone of the pink, it's not too pinkish. That, makes, it, it, that kind of makes sense. It's like it's just enough pink to mix with the gold to make this shoe pop. So it's like they did enough without doing too much to the shoe and i'm pretty sure the ladies will appreciate that of course you got that tumble leather that exists on the upper um you've got the actually on the midsole you can see that low pink hue uh milky bottoms which i'm kind of shocked that they did on these because people will say that you it might yellow supposedly of course you got the pink jordans on the bottom at least in terms of the logo on the back they decided to keep that gold tone by putting a Stitch Jordan logo on the heel to match the gold that you see on the hoops. Now, let's, let's kind of dive into the shoe real quick before we uh, kind of end the video off because, again, in my opinion, I like what they did with this shoe. 
<clears throat> the one thing people did complain about is the fact that <laughs> let me bring this out here. So on a normal Air Jordan 6, you would see the Jordan logo. Of course, you do not see that Air Jordan logo on the tongue of this shoe, but it still comes with that flap where I'm trying to see if I can do this right here, where you're able to <laughs> still connect this little tab to the actual shoe. If that makes sense. That's that's always been a known thing for an, for an Air Jordan 6. Um, but, but I'm going to say that to say this, you see how the females get an accessory that's catered towards the ladies, three rings, right? And of course they just topped it off with that Air Jordan logo, right? But look at your Travis Scott. And now, now let's take the hype piece and all that stuff out, out the equation. If you look at the Travis Scott. The features that you see on here mainly are the stash pockets and the fact that it glows. For a guy, those type of features, you're going to get excited. You're going to get happy. You're not going to really see too many females get excited over a stash pocket and gold, <laughs> sorry, a glow effect on the shoe itself. Now, take that same opinion about a guy's perspective and put that on for a shoe like this. So while it has gold hoops, as you're seeing on the shoe, that's the, in my opinion, I feel like that's the same excitement that guys have for the Travis Scott's in terms of its features, the same excitement that ladies will have and appreciate the gold hoops for this shoe. Kind of see what I'm seeing there. But in my opinion, it depends on how you're looking at the perspective, your perspective of this shoe. It says gold hoops. You know what I see? I see six rings. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, well done, Jordan Brand. Well done. That was that was pretty that was executed pretty good. But overall, this shoe, in my opinion, is more of a girlish shoe or a lady shoe than the Ama Meniers. Again. Take the hype aside, the storyline, if you're a true sneakerhead, you'll understand the story behind the Amma Meniers, how it's catered for the ladies, et cetera, et cetera. From somebody on the outside looking in, outside of the sneaker community looking in, and you know, a lady walks by with these on, another lady walks by with the Amma Meniers, they're going to probably cater to this because this is more catered to women in terms of the color tones. So that's why I think that, in my opinion, that these will pop more than the Ama Meniers for the ladies. So right now, this is 2021, this shoe, in my opinion, is probably going to be rated better than the Ama Meniers in terms of looks. In terms of looks for the ladies. I, I, I can already see the, the pitchforks. <laughs> I can see the... Uh, we call it the, you know, everybody with the, the, the lighters and stuff like that ready to torch my comment section up. But I, I'm dead serious. And looking at the shoe, I feel like this shoe is better than the Amma Meniers for the ladies. There, look, I said it. I said it. You can blow up my comment section if you want, but that's just my opinion. So overall, I am very impressed with the shoe. And I'm curious to see how Jordan Brand continues to feature more Jordan retro shoes and incorporate women accessories with it. Fantastic idea. It's a fantastic idea. Like I said, the Jordan 14 lows that will come out later on this year will feature, or that's actually inspired by red lipstick. So what's the next shoe? Will it be a Jordan 11? Hopefully they go away from that whole um, zebra looking zoo cheetah effect. <laughs> you, know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Stay away from that. Whoever's doing the marketing for Jordan brand shoes inspired for women, Continue to do stuff like this. No need to go over oversaturated with something crazy. Keeping it basic, keeping the shoe intact with women accessories. I like the idea, and it makes this thing pop. But your boy Milton never said Jordan Six Gold Hoops. Man, listen, this shoe down the line will be very, very popular, and I'm curious to see how this thing rates at the end of the year when they kind of go through all the shoe releases and say, you know, what's the best women's shoe release of this year? I'm not afraid to say it. 
right now, bam, right here. But your boy Bonnie said, I am out. No one feet because you know this is not my I'm not my parent. Obviously, I don't wear a size 10 and women's. <laughs> it is, give me a second. Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And you guys stay blessed.